Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is JJ and today I have another pick a card. I hope everyone had a beautiful Christmas and holidays with loved ones. I know I've been a little MIA, but I have been with family and my kids are in vacation. So we are going to be looking at what guidance do you need to hear with this new moon eclipse that happened yesterday or the day before depending where you are at in the world we do have a squirrel for option one we do have a poodle for option two and we have this beautiful whoa sorry this beautiful amethyst wand or point as option three so pick the one you feel most drawn to remember there is no right or wrong way of doing this i am going to be pulling cards right now for another from another deck that was gifted to me by a beautiful star seed if you guys don't know, I call my subs star seeds. Okay, I don't like the word subscribers or followers. So one of my star seeds gave me this for Christmas. And it's this beautiful deck. It's called Heaven and Earth Oracle Messages by Amber O. Barth, I believe. Yes. And it's a beautiful deck. And I will be pulling cards from here. She is having a sale right now, 5% off, if I recall correctly. And the link is in her Instagram bio section. And she is doing a discount because the cards came out thinner than what she had hoped. But honestly, they're very good to shuffle, even though they are thin. Like they're really good. They're, I really like them. I really enjoyed them. I automatically connected with them. So if you're interested in them, go give her a, um, go see her Instagram. <clears throat> Again, this is her, her name, Amber. Oh, Barth, that is her handle in Instagram, and you can find the link on her bio section. So with that being said, and thank you to Natalie for gifting me this for Christmas. I really, I really liked it. Thank you. So we're going to get started. We're going to see. We're going to pick right here, right now. If any messages jump out, please be patient with the energies. I am picking up a lot of sudden change, but also a lot of serendipity for many of us. A lot of things are coming to clarity. A lot of things that were obscured are now being cleared for us, okay? Let's see, for the collective. Climb. Okay, so we're climbing. We're reaching the top of something. So things, and I'm hearing you're, it's the climb. So we are going through a struggle period in this eclipse, but we are reaching the top, right? And it makes sense. Makes sense. Sorry, Capricorn is all about the goat climbers here. So you are reaching that. You are seeing the view also. You're seeing spirit's view of their vision for us. So let's see. Let's do it like this. Okay, you got two, two, and then the last one. Okay, so if you feel like you need more time, feel free to pause the video. All my information is always in the description box below. The timestamps are always pinned in the comments section. So let's get started with option one, the little squirrel. So let's see, what guidance do you need to hear at this time in regards to the new moon? Or if you don't follow the new moon or the eclipse, just what guidance do you need to hear? We have this beautiful squirrel. I feel like squirrels, they they save things, right? They hide the acorns. So I feel like you might be saving or you might be worried about financial matters. You might be wanting to make something grow. I feel like also there's something that you're missing that you're not seeing. Is something that I'm hearing here for those of you who picked the squirrel. I do feel like there's something that you've put away, you stashed away for later and you forgot about it and this eclipse is going to bring it back up for you to work on it if this is a project or an idea or if this is for healing, okay? Okay, so a lot of spiritual uh, past loved ones are coming through. This came in for Instagram as well. We did get this, a female, a female mother figure type energy coming in during this eclipse to guide you. There's something, you might, you might be going through something that is difficult or something that is very stressful. And I feel like this female guide is coming in to provide you with peace, to let you know that, that you're not alone on this climb. You're not alone on this journey. I am also hearing that this is someone that recently just passed for you. I am really sorry. They want you to know that they are okay, that they are at peace, and they are watching over you, okay? 
yeah they want you to keep charging forward so if things are getting very stressful for you during this eclipse spirit is telling you you have the capacity you have the tenacity to keep moving forward to keep charging forward if doors are being slammed in your face if opportunities are you know not open to you spirit is saying do not get discouraged this is not the time to get discouraged they want you to keep pushing forward they want you to not give up at this time and i feel like that's why this guide is coming in to let you know like hey you know i know things look difficult i know things look dark right now but they want you to know that soon enough that darkness is going to clear up for you okay they're saying you're making big strides even though it doesn't seem like it yeah some of you are working towards your abundance it's like you're you're hustling with your job with your business you know you're trying to make ends meet you're you're putting in that hour that dedication to something and it feels like you're not reaching that top of the mountain you're not reaching that goal and i feel like this eclipse season is going to show you how all that time that work that whatever it is that you've put in the energy the dedication that you put into something is about to reap amazing rewards for you okay and they want you to know that abundance comes in many different ways and shapes and forms do not only assume that it's money and i know we all want money because we live in a world that sadly it's everything based on money right so they want you to know also that it's in regards to connections to networking to opportunities um food maybe i'm hearing you go somewhere and someone pays for your bill or something like that or pays for your market your groceries you know that's a type of abundance but they want you to know that even though things feel dark at this time they're saying keep going because you are seeing small glimpses of of abundance and of what you're about to achieve and that may be why it's getting you impatient because you're just like i could see that it's going to be something big but I, I why is it not here yet and spirit is saying it's all in divine timing we need to be patient okay but i feel like you're accumulating you're wanting to save yeah get the bigger picture is what i was saying like i feel like you're like seeing glimpses of things, right? You're seeing things from a higher perspective. You're seeing things from a spiritual perspective. And that's making you impatient because it's kind of like you're able to, to see what spirit has in store for you and what you're working towards. And it's kind of like you can almost taste it, but you can't reach it, right? For some of you, you're saving for travel to see someone to see or to go visit some some place i'm getting like a spiritual place for some of you could be israel i'm getting israel i'm getting india i'm getting dubai and spirit is saying do not get discouraged you're gonna you're gonna travel there or you're gonna you're gonna achieve that goal the body take care of yourself if you're overworking listen to your body your body's trying to send you signals some of you you're working at the expense of your health and that is not good that is not good and if you're doing that this eclipse is going to show you just how much of an effect that is taking on your body so i feel like also for this eclipse and this new moon you're going to become very aware of your body and what it needs and what it's lacking and um where is it where is the stress what do you need to change the high priestess okay follow your following your intuition put the phone down too much screen time is making you awkward and sad go talk to a life person okay so for some of you, again, you're very focused on something. It's like you have tunnel vision for something. And I feel like Spirit is saying you have to go out and network and connect with people in order for you to see the bigger picture because you're hyper-focused on something. You're going through some difficult stuff. Everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather your tired self up and handle it so again spirit is saying this is not the time to give up this is the time to put your big panties on um, and strap yourself and get stuff done okay this is the time to put in the work this is the time to go for the last the last push 
And whatever it is that you're going through, they want you to know that you're going to come out okay. There's abundance waiting for you on the other side of whatever this is. And they're saying, try to look at it from a higher perspective. And I feel like you're going to see a lot of signs and synchronicities from people and past loved ones and your spirit guides that are telling you like, hey, you're not alone. Exactly. The sun is coming out for you. Don't rush through things. I feel like you want to rush the process with the knight of swords. Your mind too is like a thousand miles per hour and spirit is saying, slow it down. I feel like things are, are happening. The sun is coming out faster than you think. They're saying, charge forward. Keep moving forward. See, this night is facing towards the sun. So spirit is saying, do not give up because you're about to accomplish what you've set your mind to. Or whatever it is that you've been working towards, you're about to get it. And they're saying, this is not the time for you to just be like, okay, you know, whatever. Yes, whatever it is that you're dealing with is difficult, but they're saying you got to keep pushing. Swan dance, union, transmutation, beloved. As I said that it was 1111. So I'm going to read this off camera here. On a midnight sun... Two swans dance in the lake with two fountains until they merge as one. Swans are a symbol of the sacred marriage between the masculine and the feminine within and without. Our most natural desire is to experience union with self and another. So for some of you, I feel like you want to connect with the twin flame or with the soulmate or things may be rocky and spirit is saying do not give up. Okay, if you're wanting to meet someone, this person is coming. True love is not about romance as much as it is about transmutation from lead to pure spiritual gold. They will mirror us at our highest and our lowest, showing us our full potential and also that which keeps us from it. Exactly. There's something here that is keeping you from your full potential. And I feel like spirit is also telling you or showing you people that are mirroring that back to you. If you don't love yourself, they will show you where it's lacking. Your love will extend beyond yourself as you share it with the world. You don't have to be perfect to meet your beloved. You only have to have a strong desire to be your true self and remember what true life is. Once you begin to dance the life of opposites, it is quite the balancing act and how willing you are to be authentic will determine if you will be like swans mating for life. So some of you, if you're asking about a lover... Or about someone, if they are your divine counterpart, they are. Okay? And I feel like this person might be triggering because you guys mirror each other. But I feel like Spirit is saying, you know, that's how it is. Keep pushing forward. Do not give up. And then we have the card here of follow the signs. See, I told you they're giving you signs. Timing, trust, vision. There's a vision. There's something that you're seeing, but you're getting very impatient very impatient and spirit is saying you feel lost it's like you're like i see the signs i know what the end result might be or i know i'm supposed to be with this person or i know i'm supposed to do this but i can't see how it will work out or i can't see how things will end up being and spirit is saying that is okay all you need to do is trust all you need to do is keep pushing forward keep trusting and know that divine timing is at play here right timing you are seeing the situation correctly. <clears throat> so if you're thinking about something or about someone, you're seeing the situation correctly. Sometimes when things are not panning out the way we plan them to be in our heads, we lose faith. Exactly. There's something that you thought was going to go a certain way and it turns out that it's totally a different way. And Spirit is saying, try to look at things from a higher perspective. And don't lose faith. Thought Though just because it doesn't look how you think it should, it doesn't mean that it's not in the process of being rooted out. If you have an inner knowing and vision, then hold tight to that vision and see it through. Exactly. This is not the time to give up. It's not the time to give up. I don't know if you guys feel like giving up or you're just like, you know, I'm tired. I don't know. I'm not seeing anything happening here, JJ. Spirit is saying, don't do that. Do you know in your heart you will be successful? then trust that you will be. Has spirit been showing you repeated signs that your dreams will become a reality? That someone who trespassed on your sacred grounds will be 
will be served their necessary karma. Trust that. Just because things look like look still doesn't mean that the that the winds of change have not set into motion. Don't let outside appearances or temporary circumstances fool you. Exactly. There's some type of an illusion here that's going on. And Spirit is saying, use your intuition to navigate it. Because there's something that you're not seeing. Try to look at things from a higher perspective. Don't let your mind play tricks on you. If someone did something to you, don't waste your time trying to get even with this person. Let karma sort things out. And don't get caught up in the outside appearances of things. If things look dark, if things feel like they're not moving forward, that is absolutely not correct. If spirit has been showing you signs repeatedly over and over again that you will be successful, that happiness is here, that abundance is waiting for you, you have to trust it. Okay? It will come to fruition in divine timing. Exactly. For some of you, it's about a person. You're like, I know spirit has shown me signs, the person's initials, the person's date of birth, whatever it is, you know, whatever significance you have with this person. They've been showing me, showing me, showing me, but I feel lost. I don't know. Spirit is saying that is okay. Everything's going to happen exactly how it's supposed to and in the timing that it's supposed to. So that is what I have for you guys. I hope this was helpful. And now I'm going to move to option two. So for those of you who picked the Pluto, let's see, loyalty, passion, let's see, you are confused, okay, a lot of confused energy, and this came up for option one too, so, but I feel like yours, you're more in confused than option one, option one was more of seeing the signs but not knowing how things will pan out and for you guys i just feel like you're you're literally confused or you're indecisive about something you don't know which path to choose what to do how to go about something here okay pay attention to the animal totems that are coming and the animals that doggy right um so loyalty stay loyal stay loyal to your commitment stay loyal to your heart answering the call the time is now it's time to act towards your passion and i say with the red passion savor your life you're being offered something something is being offered to you it could be something that you're passionate something that will bring you pleasure something that will allow you to kind of let your hair down and have some fun and i feel like for some reason this is making you confused maybe because you're someone that always does does things by the book maybe you're someone who's always following tradition or you're always trying to do the right thing and i'm feeling from spirit that this time around you shouldn't be concerned with that because spirit is saying you need more passion this it's lacking in your life and it needs to be reignited so i feel like this eclipse this new moon is bringing you an opportunity for you to kind of let loose to let your hair down to put on your dancing shoes and have some fun okay to reconnect with your passion to reconnect with your pleasure leo yeah to to have more fun with leo rules the fifth house childlike expression creativity there's something here creative project there's something that you need to do but you're scared but i feel like spirit is coming towards with animal animal totems you're seeing the same animals you might be seeing cats felines you might be seeing um i don't know any type of animal birds i heard birds so maybe you're seeing birds maybe you're seeing lions Maybe you're seeing the number 17. I don't know why that came up. But number 17 repeatedly. And I feel like that's spirit's way of telling you, you know, reconnect with that inner child. Reconnect with your passion. I feel like doing childlike things will also help you. If you think someone is lying, they are. Okay, so spirit is saying it could be that someone is sweet talking okay and that's why you're confused or if you feel like something is too good to be true i feel like you're thinking like someone is lying so if you're thinking about someone hey this person is holding information from me this person is not being honest with me they are they are okay that's for someone specific you look like a show you are a hot mess 
fact, clean yourself up. Yeah, I feel like you've been very much preoccupied with work or with all the holidays and stuff that has been going on. I feel like Spirit is saying it's time to just let loose. That's all I keep hearing, let loose. Let loose, have fun. You've been so serious about everything. And I feel like Spirit is saying it's it's shrinking you. It's shrinking your soul. Because we need to have we need to have fun in life. Yeah, there's a golden opportunity here. There's a golden opportunity for you to do something, something that is in alignment with your passion, with your pleasure. There's a huge opportunity here. It's a huge door. And Spirit is saying you gotta walk through that door. Walk through important doors that are opening for you and we have this woman walking through the door so you need to walk through that door you need to walk through that opportunity and you may have been pondering on this opportunity for quite a while okay because to, to tell me that you're confused it tells me that you've been sitting on this energy for a while and i feel like spirit is saying you need to be courageous like the leos you need to take a leadership role and make the decision for yourself get your act together king of swords you might be dealing with the king of swords okay or also could be telling you need to make a choice king of swords you need to make a choice this choice or this plan or this opportunity this contract is going to lead you to a lot of money a lot of money a lot of financial independence a lot of self-confidence a lot of love i'm hearing loving yourself I feel like there's an opportunity to do something, to teach something, to take a course, to do a course, to speak or to work with the community, podcasting, something with communication here. And I feel like it's going to lead to a lot of money for you. It could be vlogging as well. Something with communication in whichever shape, form that you want to do that. I also feel like you're the king of swords and you're able to see when someone is lying. So, you know, use that energy of the king of swords. The Nine of Pentacles is someone who's worked very hard to get to where they are. She didn't get here just overnight. She worked long hours, right? I'm saying she because she's, it's a female in the card. But you could be a he or a she. You worked very hard. I feel like there's a message that is going to come in with like a, a beautiful opportunity for you. And it's going to allow you to be yourself because this woman is naked here, this mermaid. And it's going to make you very happy with a dolphin in the background. It could be a spiritual opportunity as well with the dolphin. Regardless of what it is, Spirit is saying this is your purpose, this is your call. It's time to answer it. Tiger energy, presence, stillness, respect. Respect yourself. I don't know if someone is coming in, you know, being very Leo-like. Not to throw shade at Leos, but I feel like this person has a strong, a uh, big ego. And you might be letting this person convince you of something and i feel like spirit is saying listen to your king of swords side you know embrace the king of swords be rely on the facts do the research before you take someone's word for something okay So here in the back of the card, it says, can you say a thousand words without saying anything? Wow. Can you soar in silence? If you can, then they have a strong presence. Then you have a strong presence. And yes, you do. You're a Leo and you communicate very clearly. Communicate clearly. Don't put, don't stay in that confusion. Whatever this is, you might be dealing with someone and I feel like there's a truth that you need to say here. And Spirit is saying that opportunity to speak up is coming for you. Our presence says more about us than our words. A tiger does not have to say anything for you to know it's powerful and not to be messed with. Yeah, <laughs> you're no one to be messed with. So if someone is keeping you in this energy of confusion, in this energy of you don't know where you stand, you don't know where you're going, you need to cut that person out or cut that situation out. Spirit is saying you feel small. And, and that's not you. 
You need to stand up for yourself, but you need to do it in a way that's effective. Exactly. So we constantly scream and lash out at the person on the receiving end, even if they deserve it. They see us small because we have to scream to, to be heard. Exactly. So this card is really saying, you know, it's not about how you scream or how you say things. Really, sometimes just cutting a person out or just saying simply no and just having that attitude says a lot. Okay, Spirit is saying you have a presence to you and honor that presence because you're, I was going to say you're a boss B-I-T-C-H, okay? You're, you're, I don't cuss, I don't like to, but I feel like this time you need to hear it and, and you're undervaluing yourself. You're undervaluing yourself. Whatever the situation is, this person is lying to you. This person is trying to pull at your ego, pull at your ego and make you feel good in some way to keep you here in that energy of the Merlina, of stuck, of confused. And I feel like spirit is saying, no, you're blocking your own blessings here. I feel like the moment you stand up for yourself, again, not lashing out, not being disrespectful, but just having that presence of like, you know, nobody messes with me kind of energy and demanding that respect. Spirit is saying then these golden opportunities will come in for you. If something is being offered to you and you feel like it's below and you deserve more, definitely speak up. Definitely, you know, let them hear you roar. It's kind of what I'm hearing here. I'm hearing the Katy Perry song. Hear me roar. Your last card is ascend, release, lightness, afloat. Yeah. I feel like the moment you release whatever this energy of this person is, this person might have Leo on their chart, Leo moon, Leo rising, Leo sun. With, uh, I feel like deep down they're very manipulative with the king of swords here. They have a big ego. I feel like spirit is saying you need to release them in order to ascend to a higher level, to a higher plane. Or release whatever this is that is keeping you stuck. As you shake the heaviness from your soul, you ascend effortlessly into the peace and contentment of your heavenly being. The hard part is over for now. It's time to let yourself be light like a feather after a very long time of heaviness. So for a lot of you, Spirit is saying, you know, the confusion is over. For some of you, you already went through this. So if you already went through this, the confusion is over. Happier times are coming. Lighter times. Playful times. Financial abundance is here for you. Clarity is coming in. You know, you have this presence of respect. There's a lot of opportunities coming in. So that is good. Let's see what else can I get here. Allow yourself to be rejuvenated by this new lightness of spirit. You deserve to have it easy after all you have been through. To experience warmth, simplicity, and miraculous blessings. Would self-love be not claimed the rewards you worked so hard to create for yourself? Exactly, and that's the Nine of Pentacles. You worked hard to get into this Nine of Pentacles energy. Into this presence. Into having the self-confidence. You know, to, to let another person or a situation bring you down. Don't shortchange yourself because you are ascending. And usually what happens when you start ascending, people want to weigh you down or people from your past come or situations from your past come to kind of throw you off your path. And it's kind of like a spiritual test. And it's for you to learn to say no, to see if you have grown. So I feel like this eclipse is going to allow you to finally walk away from something. It's going to spiritually test you to see if you fall back to your old way of doing things, to your old way of seeing yourself so small because you have grown so much and you have done a lot. And I feel like spirit has a lot of amazing opportunities coming your way if you've already went through this test and you've already passed it, congratulations to you. If you're currently going through it, just know now, hopefully this video brought you clarity and you're able to ascend and move forward to amazing opportunities. So that is what I have for you guys. And now I'm going to move to option three. So for those of you who picked option three, the amethyst point here, 
You might be dealing with a twin, with a soulmate. Let's see. Let's see what this eclipse new moon. Okay, you're being pushed to... Okay, so Archangel Gabriel is working very strongly with you. I also feel like communication. You're, you're working on your communication. I also feel like your life purpose involves communication. If it doesn't, if you know what your life purpose is and you're like, no, JJ doesn't involve communication, then it just means that this eclipse is bringing clarity about what is your life purpose, how to go about it, what is your next step. I also feel like a lot of good news. Also, I'm, I'm hearing you're going to see how your insecurities are holding you back in regards to fulfilling your purpose. There's a lot of changes that are coming during this eclipse and this new moon for you. I do see that spirit is saying embrace these changes. There's a lot of ideas that are going to come to you. Please write them down so you're able to bring them about. Just know that you are protected during these changes. So you might be going through changes that seem scary. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. The spirit is saying, do not worry. You are protected during these changes and you can overcome anything. Whatever this is, it feels very big. You might be trying to get to a truth of a situation, to a truth in regards to love because this heart has here. Um, the heart is here in the sword. But I feel like spirit is this bird here, this robin here, watching over you, that you don't fall off. It feels like you're walking a narrow path. Yeah, but it's all taking you to a new cycle. It's kind of like when you're giving birth, right? You know, the last push. For those of you who are male, you're going to be like, no, I don't know. But it's, but you know the process of giving birth, right? It's like before the baby comes out, it's like you give this huge last push push that's kind of what it feels like before this new cycle can begin for you i feel like there's something new you're leaving the obstacles behind but it is but you do have to get through some difficult changes before you get here life's purpose you got life's purpose twice so your life purpose is being revealed to you and again i always tell people my clients i always tell them you know once you find out your life purpose people think it's very easy or everything just falls into place, but it's not because you have to realign, you have to make changes in your life. And so that comes with difficulties, right? We need to align again. So if you've been thinking like, hey, is this my life purpose? This is telling you it is. Fairness. <clears throat> Things will be handled in a fair manner. Whatever is, there's more balance coming in, okay? Just know that you will regain your balance too. I feel like through these changes, you're going to be feeling like you're getting unsteady with things or things are becoming unsteady. But I feel like Spirit is saying, do not worry. Things, I also feel like karma. I'm getting karma vibes here. You might be a Libra. I'm getting karma. Like good karma's coming in. The reason why you're going through this is because of karma. Take a trip. Go see some stuff. Do new things. Talk to people cooler than you. Yeah, I feel like you need to get out of your out of your routine. And I feel like once you do that, for some of you, you're literally taking a trip. I feel like you might be taking a trip to Egypt. I don't know why I'm getting that. But Spirit is saying once you take this trip you're gonna you're gonna have this epiphany of what is your life purpose what is it that you are meant to do that project that person that idea is waiting so if you've been thinking about reaching out to someone talking to someone this person is waiting for you get after that stuff the world has your back exactly whatever it is that you've been thinking whatever project whatever idea again ideas there's an idea that has been circling in your head and i feel like this eclipse is going to make it very clear to you why this idea i feel like this is an idea that just keeps coming back keeps coming back and i feel like from spirit is saying the reason why it keeps coming back is because it's your purpose so if you've been thinking like yeah i should teach yeah i should do that course yeah i should apply to the police academy or i should do this spirit is saying yes that is your purpose that is the reason why this idea won't go away okay and if it's a person i feel like this person can help you with your life's purpose or you guys are connected in some way but Spirit is saying, stop procrastinating. Spirit has your back. The world has your back. What are you waiting for? It's time to start that new cycle. <clears throat> 
the hermit. Some of you are spiritual teachers or have spiritual knowledge. You might be a Virgo. I feel like you're going on a spiritual journey. Some of you, your life purpose involves spirituality. The magician here is saying you're a manifester, right? You have all the tools. What are you waiting for? Okay, you might think that you're lacking resources. <clears throat> Whoa, my voice. You might think that you can't communicate, that you won't be able to communicate correctly, that you won't be able to captivate an audience, that you won't be able to communicate with the community in some way. Spirit is saying that is not true. You have wisdom, you have experience, and you might not know exactly how the steps will unfold for you, but Spirit is saying you're being shown enough to know just what the next step is. And you need to know that there's infinite possibilities here. And you are ready for it. You're ready. The wolf totem. Interdependent duality communication. <clears throat> yep. For some of you, definitely, especially with Archangel Gabriel, like I said, your life purpose involves communication. Communicating with the masses is something that I just heard. But there's a duality in you, right? There's a duality of like, I want to be alone. I want to retreat. I want to spend time alone. But then there's this duality of the magician that is like, I want to be in front of someone, in front of people showing my skills. Wolves are one of the most dualistic animals in mythology. They can represent the light just as much as the dark. Much like us, wolves are highly sensitive and naturally loving by nature. Though when hunger strikes, they can be reverous. Re ravenous i can't say that word and merciless in their pursuit for survival okay so you have to see which wolf are you feeding that's what the card is saying are you feeding the dark wolf or are you feeding the light wolf that's the one that's gonna win essentially also in understanding the duality of things right that not everything is black and white so do you have issues giving and receiving or both? Do you have trouble communicating your needs to others or setting boundaries and establishing your role within your pack? Because you're a leader. Becoming aware of these things will help you integrate that beautiful spirit of the wolf within. So work with the wolf totem. And again, with the owl here, it's like you have a lot of wisdom. I feel like you have a lot of experience. You're connected through sacred geometry, I feel. And I feel like spirit is communicating with you through sacred geometry. It's time for you to be a leader, to not back down. And then we have the passion flower. Desire inspires and dream. There's something, there's a project, there's a dream. Spirit is saying it's time for you to go after it. desire is of divine design and not to be tossed aside as invaluable exactly there's an idea that is very valuable that you are just sitting on it for every desire is a valuable lesson at first our desire yes can be foolish we can desire things very strongly yet when we attain them we are still left feeling empty as we fulfill each desire, we learn that what we want is not what we need, and slowly over time, our desire becomes a higher nature. When once our desire was empty illusions we thought would make us feel whole, now our desire is for true substance, God, purpose, love, inner wealth. This divine desire and passion is what makes us what makes the seed bloom into a flower and a caterpillar grow wings so, so shall you blossom and soar in the wings of true life if you can grant yourself permission to let your passion be fulfilled you have a choice but it is not wise to deny yourself of that which is the guiding light to you to your full potential and to your fullest life God and goddess know the dream of your soul and you shall have all that you wish for in the in your secret heart if you are brave enough to let your inner passion flower bloom once more. Exactly. There's something that you're meant to that you're meant to to bring to life. 
and for some reason it might feel like it has been an obstacle or it's something that it seems like it's hard to achieve but spirit is saying that's your life purpose and if it's a person this person there's a strong desire towards this person and whatever it is that you've been holding near and dear to your heart spirit is saying it's time for you to be brave it's time for you to lead to lead the pack and don't deny yourself your passions don't isolate yourself I just keep hearing things will be handled in, f in a fair manner. A lot of new beginnings for you, but you need to be brave. You need to be brave and you need to be a leader. Be the leader of the pack. There's a new cycle waiting for you. There's a lot of potential here. Eggs waiting to break, waiting for new things to start for you. You will be overcoming obstacles. Even if you are living your life purpose... For some of you, you are becoming very aware of what your life purpose is. Make sure you are coming from a place of, of balance and also of fairness. Whatever decisions that you will be making. Remember, the effects of the eclipse last up to six months, okay? So you're going to feel the effects from December all the way until May of 2020. Remember that you're an infinite being and as above, so below. So make sure that you are manifesting positive things. So that is what I have for you. I hope this was helpful. I wish you the best. Take care of yourselves. It was an honor to share space with you guys. Have a lovely day. Bye.